Hey everyone. Um, I will have the last my last video coming out um, by this weekend. I'll be doing the last two videos of Ezekiel 40. Um, you notice it's kind of dark um, in this camera, and I sort of have chills right now. My skin is a little bit crawling, sort of funny. Um, because I want to talk about death for a moment. I want to talk about death. Um, death and life. I tried to call into a live um, on YouTube that was talking about someone who used to be a YouTube content creator that maybe had passed away. And I want to bring this up because I, I need everyone to fully listen to what I'm going to say. And this is not for the brethren so much that are on my channel, um, that are on my platform, because... Um, You all know the Most High, right? You know him. You have a personal relationship with Yahusha. I did a video a couple videos back talking about image and the men the image of men is distortion. Ooh, this is hitting pretty personal to me because um I started to ask the Most High, why did this person or what is happening with this person passing if this is in fact the situation? And before I even speak on a name or anything, the Most High took me to, just a moment ago, Hebrews H nine eleven, And he took me to nine eleven, And it's speaking about a Moabite. And it's talking about, let me see, I think it was... Uh, it would have been of Hashem or Hashem, um, the area, the land of sun that passed. And 9-11 is emergency. And it also can be equated to death when you go to 7-11. And I don't usually like to talk about Beyonce, but the video that she had made about sounding the alarm and then also the video... Um, that she had made at that time, talking about 7-Eleven being open all the time. Um, I want to say this. There are a lot of human beings on this earth that are very demon-possessed at this point. The terrors have been lifted out. There was a time where I was going to make a video about this person that I am also speaking about. And I had held back because I realized that, well, I did make a video, but when I made the video, um, I was talking about just men, period, on YouTube. I, I wasn't specifying like this particular person and just talking about them. I was talking about MGTOW. I was talking about different image consultants. I was talking about um, people that basically talk very disrespectful to the human race when it comes to women and men were believing anything they would say based on their image. And there are egos very strong on YouTube to where people look at the outside appearance of a person, and I've said this several times in scripture, if you are focused on just your image, you will go down with everyone else. You can marry someone that can be very narcissistic. Very, very, very narcissistic. And be into image and superficial to the point that they will die over their image. They will go down dying in their image because they worship the image because their image doesn't just pay their bills. They have allowed themselves to look in the mirror and allow that to take on. And again, my skin is, ooh, I'm getting that feeling because when I just say the name, there are certain names of people that pass away that if they have passed away and you believe they're on their way to hell because you just have felt it in your spirit, that Holy Spirit has spoke to you, <clears throat> you really don't want to say too much, especially if you know what spirits they dealt with 
and you know it. You, you've seen it in videos. You looked at their eyes. You could tell. You could tell if they were had a homosexual, um, like a bisexual or homosexual tendency, or if they were insecure, or if they had different parts to them. Um, of connected, right? And I also was, again, like I said, I, it was written down in the spirit on paper. And again, I'm trying to find that sheet on Tyler Perry as Medea and what the most High told me to say to him. He's went way too far. Um, he has become what we see him becoming if we have the spirit of righteousness of truth, right? And wisdom. And so with that being said as well, um, the part that's very tough, the part that's very tough is that <clears throat> we, we look at how people talk bad about people and everything that we say and do is written down in our book in the heavens, right? The angels are writing down what we're doing, keeping track of it, not just our testimony and writing a book, but the testimony that will go into judgment the day that everyone is judged. A lot of people need to stop saying someone's in heaven and not knowing where they are. A lot of folks need to stop making videos after somebody passes or is suspected to be a pass because it could be foul play. It could have been a sacrifice. It could have been murder. It could have been suicide. It could have been drugs. It could have been medication. It could have been the, the, the mere fact that the devil was trying to snatch their soul, that they had tried to sell themselves to the devil. It could have been anything like that. It could have been nothing like that. It could have been sickness. I know people said that some people have had cancer in the past or something of that sort. It could have been anything. But the title, you know, I don't want to put a name on this. I want to say death of YouTubers. Because the most high is judging the church. But I said this recently. The heavenly father is coming after. He's coming after the terrors to where those if they've served their purpose or they haven't served a good purpose or they've, you know, like they haven't turned to the most high, right? They haven't turned to Yahuwah. They haven't accepted Christ in their heart or they've, they've browbeated or they've, they've made such a mockery in this life, right? That sometimes the most high, you know, he will allow the enemy to take someone out. Now, I don't know the whole situation, so I don't want to speak on that. I'm just generalizing at this point the point of death. If people are so concerned about people dying, they don't realize the name, a name carries weight. A name carries weight, especially if there's been wickedness or any kind of imaging of an idol worship, worshiping self, ego, it's one thing to be prosperous in what you're good at. It's another thing to downgrade another person or to hurt people in the process, no matter how kind they were to somebody else who's male or were friends with them or whatever their sexual orientation was, whatever they did on the, on the side, making videos about people and not doing it from the most high people on YouTube talking down against people to the point of their sexuality and everything else that goes on. People want to be very careful how they speak on it and that it comes from the Holy Spirit. That's why I'm saying right now, if you are alive at this very moment, death is real. Death is very real. It's not something to play about. When we speak on names of people that have passed, we better know who we are as a prophet when we speak on it. We also better know that once we find out it's factual, we put out that, that correct content that, benef that is beneficial to the spirit of a person, not for 
ego, not for views, but to get to the right hearts. And I'm going to tell you right now, please know that those who also make content that is wicked, not just against those who are of the wickedness, but those who make content harming and bringing violence and cursing people and telling them they'll never be with somebody or, or telling them they're this and that. We have to be so careful. This is why, and I've, I've preached and teach, taught on this. Excuse me, not teach. I've taught and I've preached and I've preached and I've press, pro, prophesied about this several times. I've said it to teenagers all over that I know of. I've said this to people. You could be really sickly. Someone could put a spell, try to try to really spellbind you and put some curse on you. And you feel like you're dying, but you will not pass on. You're not passing away. The most high is with you. But there are other people. If you keep on out here talking the way you do, you can be taken out spiritually and then physically no more breathing. No more. For whatever the reason and the case is, we should never play with the word death. And we should never invest in a human being based on just what they give us with money. When we say we're working in partnership, when we're working with someone, it's out of love. And if you bond, it's not a transactional narcissistic supply. It's out of this is business, but I actually do want to say kind things to you that are helpful, not use you up. And I will tell you because the most high will allow Satan to take someone out. The most high is the, is, is the one that controls death, but he's not the holder of death. And let me explain this, what I'm saying in scripture, the most high has given breath and he is he's given life and he's taken life but it says let the dead bury the dead yahusha said because once they're in that judgment once hell does get overfilled and they or and they go to utter darkness because let me tell you there is a holding place in between life and death and you can still pray for someone up to about, I'm going to say about 20 minutes to two hours after they've passed, been murdered, committed suicide, whatever the situation is. You want to pray for their spirit that they had repented and you do want to send prayers up. And that's why I want to take a moment right now and say, I pray Father Abba through you. Hallelujah through Holy Spirit. Yahusha, please hold this prayer that it go past any demonic principalities and high places. But for those that have casted curses on people, that they took the moment to repent to you before they had passed. I pray that they came to you and that they gave their heart to you, Father. Even in the time of them doing any kind of wickedness, spellbinding, casting curses, Saying women cannot change, cursing people, trying to promote all image and all worship to the wicked gods of this system, this B system, whoever they worship, that they took a moment and said, no, I believe in you, Yahusha. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray that they came to you and praised you and honored you in that last moment of their last breath of life. I pray that their spirit had been cleansed. I pray that, pray that they had been baptized in the water, Father, and felt your Holy Spirit at some point in their life. Whatever they did that made them feel broken to make other people feel broken, that they had repented. And if they are in the holding cell of hell, I hope it's not the worst part. But we do know that we cannot get to heaven in the kingdom of heaven of Yahuwah in his home by our good deeds. People need to understand the good deeds. Even the movie, the Tyler Pyramid, good deeds. Yes, 
We see that I gave a, a man that lived under a bridge today the rest of my graham crackers that were broken up and he was so grateful. But that's not going to get me to heaven. That's just because I believe in Yahuwah. Because he has helped me. He has given to me and I helped another. But that's not how you get. You get there from faith, not works. Works are dead without faith. So people can give to charities and, and, and all that. If it's false, if you believe belong to secret societies, if it's false, if your heart is cold, if your heart can't love your own children that you gave, helped raise, or you brought into this world, I shouldn't even say raise, but if you are one of the men that they do call deadbeat men, and you haven't honored children and loved them and respected to say they're yours, you better repent right now before Yahuwah, before you pass. You haven't helped uh, give finances to them, even a dollar, if you've not tried to call your children and they're grown now. You better repent. You better repent. Father, we bring this prayer up to you through Yahusha, and we ask you to seal this prayer up. To, I pray that some of these YouTubers have repented before death. Not our brothers and pastors that we love so much that have been giving their life to you and then you get, you took them from earth. They had fulfilled their purpose and they're with you, Father. But the ones who lived the hellish lives and sold their soul out at that time to the enemy, to Satan. We ask that they please, I pray that they had repented and that people not cast upon people. Piggish swine, before pearls, right? Put in their pearls on a pig, you're still going to see a pig. Dress it up, it's still going to be a pig. Hallelujah. I'm making this video special right now because I understand how my heart felt when I heard a certain thing. I'm going to wait until tomorrow to upload it because I want to very much understand this is going to happen a lot more. I don't want to entitle it really specifically for one person, but I'm going to find, I'm going to see what the Most High says about what to entitle it. But I'm letting you know, and I'm saying right now, this world is getting very wicked. And if people think that they can be saved through their image, they are mistaken. The only image that can save them is the image of Yahuwah, the Most High, Abba Yahuwah, the Father and Creator of all Alpha and Omega, Elohim, with His Ruh Hokadesh and Shekinah glory of light and truth and understanding. And we have discernment. And if we walk Christ-like, Yahusha Hamashiach as King, if we followed the way He walked, that is the only image that will save someone, not the image of the enemy, not the image of making fun of people. Every word, every idle word we speak, every curse word, every cuss word, everything that we speak will be judged on judgment day. People need to stop saying everyone is going to heaven. These people are saying that people are going to heaven. They don't even know what heaven really is. They don't even know what heaven is. They don't even know what heaven is. See, when I ask the Most High, see, there are some pr prophets, there are some prophetic um, teachers that will tell you, I had a dream, I had a vision, and this is about somebody. But I ask from the throne, Father, what do you want me to tell this person? So this goes out to all of you to be very, very cognizant and careful in which nuances you use and various forms to defame a name, make sure you do it in Holy Spirit and it's um, completely conveyed through Christ on how you're going to walk through that video. Because what you say after a person passes can come back a hundredfold to you as well. You want to say it in the way with what, yes, they may have been fighting demons. Yes, they may have had insecurities. Yes, they may have had uh, abandonment issues and single mama feeling. And maybe they were raised by a single parent. And they weren't a healthy father and they weren't there for their children. But I hope they repent. I hope they choose to have repented before they passed. 
And this should also tell many that make platform videos wickedly on people. Anytime you could go with any time. Ladies and gents of the world, you could leave at any time. You can be taken with your last breath, whether you know it already that you're pa about to pass or not. One moment, please, while I take a sip. I'm dealing with something with my allergies real bad. My throat is swollen. My um, taste buds are swollen. My tonsils are swollen. And I've been dealing with all kinds of health things because of spiritual battles. I have had to get rid of a lot of generational curses off my life and witchcraft that people put curses on my life. And that is the reason why I speak so highly about only going to the throne, only letting Holy Spirit speak through you. Because then that's a righteous call. That's a righteous word. That's a righteous teaching. That's righteous prophesying. You heard it from him. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Where do you lead me on this? Your father, my father who is in heaven, he chooses the judgment call. Righteous and unrighteous is his choice. It is his opinion. It is his word from the throne. It is what he speaks into existence with his breath. That's what he says. He giveth life and he taketh away in an instant. We need to appreciate life. We need to not take for granted those who are out here loving agape love from the heart. When we see wickedness, we call it out. But we don't laugh at a person. What we say is, wow, that's some crazy behavior because it is. Crazy behavior. Crazy, crazy behavior. What we do in our personal life matters. I'm very shocked and surprised by this, this news, if it's correct. And many people that follow people, they worship the person more than they even think about their own very life. And then when the person passes, they sit around and they wonder, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me for one moment. I apologize. One moment, please. They sit around and they forget that people that talk bad about people constantly day in and day out for money or for anything else, or they lie, meaning they're not trying to just have a job. They lying about certain things they do to brag or to boast. Those people says will not inherit the kingdom. It's easier for a rich man to go through the what? An eye of a, cam a, a camel's eye, the needle, like a needle and thread through the eye of the needle, the little hole there. Then to get into heaven, the kingdom of Yahuwah. And everybody wants to be rich at any cost. Not doing it as though they're productive, not doing it as it's from the heart, not doing it as it's the will in their life, not doing it in abundance and purpose. They're doing it to scam people. They're doing it to use people. They're doing it to suck their dry, their energy out. They're doing it to hurt people. They're doing it to make fun of people. They're doing it to cast horrible thoughts in people's minds and hearts and spirits. And they use it through the flesh. And they deny Yahusha Christ in heaven at the same time. Wickedness. It will be judged. We don't read the hearts, but spiritually we understand judgments upon humankind today. And the masses are falling for all this sad image worship. And I'm telling you, and I've said it, they're going to die in their image of the flesh. We can leave a marriage. I've experienced things because people are so focused on the image of the flesh. They refuse to seek first the kingdom. They refuse to write scripture and word on their heart. They refuse 
to put forth the kingdom. They refuse to do that first and all other things to be added. They refuse to do what the Most High says and they become a prodigal. They become a soul out here. They refuse to do what's needed, the work needed inside to be healthy. They refuse to cast out these spiritual battles and warfare. They refuse to let anyone even put hands on them to try to heal them that way. So we as prayer warriors go into prayer. We prophets go into prophesying. We go into understanding. But let me tell you something. Death is no joke. It is permanent. It is a permanent from life to death. It is permanent. It is a crossing over whichever way you go. We pray and hope that many come and repent. But do not stay with the person that's abusive. Do not stay with the person who's degrading you or, de or defaming your character when you don't have that character. Do not let anyone push you to cuss. Do not let anyone to push you to hate the opposite sex. Because guess what the Most High ma made male and female just like going into the ark. King and queen. Son and daughter of light. And all these people out here. These Women haters and men haters and women bashing and men bashing and even in our own remnant, the nation of Israel, just people in general, no matter what culture, what ethnicity background you're from, you are still created.